<laughs> Hello, welcome back to One Saturday Darts, where we're talking about <laughs> child TV shows. Uh, yeah, yeah, TV shows of our childhood. <laughs> Oh, do you remember the time where we had to debate if we had to watch Pokemon or Digimon? Digimon. For me, it would have been Digimon back yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah, because Kids WB had Pokemon while Fox Kids... I had Digimon. There you go, you got Bull. Yeah, until there was the one time where it's like, uh, Digimon will be half an hour later, so you can also watch Pokemon or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> And then that Only made my day, really but then Yu-Gi-Oh! showed up. And then it was yeah, like, if you want to yeah. watch this, you have to be like around 11, 11.30. And then I was like, I'm at the YMCA taking swimming lessons. <laughs> I can't uh, make it in time. Out there, every kid, in my personal opinion, every kid should learn how to swim. Every kid has to learn how to swim. Or... I don't care who the heck you are, you have to learn how to swim. <laughs> yeah, for some reason you need to learn how to swim, learn how to play an instrument, uh, learn how to make friends. <laughs> yeah. These are if like you pick the bad basics. ones, it'll influence you and you become a bad friend. <laughs> well, uh, here's my first turn. How do you like it, Francis? Cool. Nice. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> 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 He's like, I hate you so much. <laughs> you got bull. You yeah, got one bull. bull wasn't enough. <laughs> Why did it hit the one? Because <laughs> <laughs> you weren't aiming. <laughs> Why is this thing telling you how to win? <laughs> I don't know. I swear, this game hates me. Big deal. What the hell? What? What is this? What? Why what do you have what? two bullseyes? <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> so, as you mentioned, our, our favorite kids shows, there was one from my childhood um, called The Weekenders. And we mentioned an episode that involved, uh, ironically, called The Weekenders. The Weekenders had an episode involving uh, clown phobia. Both. Yeah, the next thing that comes close to clown phobia that I can think of was the adventures of Billy and Mandy where Billy was yelling, destroy us all and wearing oranges. Yeah. Destroy us all! 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 More please. Come on. Destroy us all! 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 Destroy us Francis, all! Destroy us you all! You just reminded me of another show. <laughs> you just reminded me of another show. Destroy us all! Code... No, codename Kids Next Door. Oh shit. That was awesome! You can find all the episodes on there, including the original first season, where the codename Kids Next Door were actually bad guys. I, I remember the asparagus episode. I remember or... playing the, the video game that was on Cartoon Network, and apparently it's still on there, I think. I'll need to double check. But, there you go, you got a bowl. Yeah, I like the asparagus episode, where where they uh, use their boat, and then they land on the Sea of Asparagus. And then when... Have you seen the, the final episode? Oh, the the movie? Yeah, the... the... The movie where yeah, just... I wish I could spoil it for people who have not watched it, but it's been out for a while, so I can technically spoil it. Yeah. Where number one, number like, one leaves. Uh, yeah, and then they use real life actors to uh, 
re remember the scene. <laughs> yeah, that's saying something. Yeah, but still, great white asparagus. <laughs> remember the delightful children down the lane. Hello, yeah, that's the worst. The monotone. You know what'd be better with this ice cream? Some jimmies. No! Don't do that! I love that too. It's uh, like. It, what was the number flavor? So... Was that? Sunday. I, f I forgot. It was like a golden ice cream, and it was like. The best flavored ice cream that we would never figure it out. Yeah, that's like what it's like nice the most move. obvious hint. Oh, uh, Candy Beard. Do you know who did the voice of Candy Beard? Tom Kenny? <laughs> no. I'll give you a clue. He did the voice of the Joker. He was Luke Skywalker. God damn him. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Mark Hamlin? <laughs> I did. Yeah. He did the voice of Candy Beard. I went like for real, and then someone said, "Yeah." Like, I, re oh, I remember the the remember when they had like a beer mug worth of sugar, and then number five was like, "Here, if I finish this before you, you have to listen to what I say." And then Candy Beard was like, three, two, oh. <laughs> and then number five was oh, it was already done. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. And then, <laughs> and awesome. then uh, when they did the candy skeleton, it was like uh, it's it's uh, sugar to the death. And then she she lost to like uh, sugar hype. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's what I'm saying, folks. You should really watch Conan Kins Next Door. It's a good show, uh, especially if you're younger. It feels amazing, and if you're older, like I am, and like Francis it's is, still funny. it's still good. <laughs> It's still good. It's Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy is uh, also a good one. Yeah, now it's because called who, uh, the Grim Once Adventures in a Lifetime. Have you ever heard a Jamaican uh, Grim Reaper? Hey, you want to hear something funny about that, Francis? What? Originally, they weren't going to have a Jamaican Grim Reaper, but when the voice actor did uh, his uh, actual Jamaican voice, mm -hmm. the uh, director just loved it and just said, screw it, we're making a Jamaican Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Look, I'm down to your favorite Dalmatian number, 101. Oh yeah, do you remember who voiced the Dracula in that one? Uh, Grim Adventures I do of not know. He, I he do also not did know. Samurai Jack, uh, the For Green real? Lantern of the, just, of the OG Justice League. And uh, Hermes from uh, Futurama. Dang. And he also did Static Shock, too. <laughs> oh, Static Shock. That was... If I remember correctly. Yeah, young Virgil Hopkins. I'm surprised, uh, despite how old he is, he can do, like, a decent young voice. Yeah, like, I didn't know how old that guy was. At first, I thought it was, like, a teenager, and then it was like, no, that guy's, like, in his early 40s back then. Yeah. Uh, that what surprised me, that he really did a good Samurai Jack. I won. <laughs> nice <sighs> that was two games already, right? I think so. <laughs> okay, see you in the, the next game where we're still talking about other stuff Cartoons. on one Saturday darts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is the only sh this is the only podcast that you will hear every Saturday. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Since I'm apparently uploading the weekend now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>